Good morning children and praise the Lord. It's good to see all of you and welcome to our Sunday school Christmas edition. Yay. We are so happy to be here. My name is Peter Zimbi. I'm here uh, with uh, Reverend Reverend Isa Kale, how are you boys and girls? Nice to be here today. I'm so, so glad to be here. I cannot even wait to start singing this Christmas carol. Wow. And yes. we also are joined with by Rason, uh, Charlie, and our drummer boy, Toda Bovi. And uh, we are very happy to be here. Please, yes. boys and girls, join us as we celebrate God and His coming through our Savior Jesus Christ when He was born in a manger. Mm. And But before we begin singing, I'd like to invite uh, one of us to say a word of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for, for your love. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for today. And as we do Sunday school, bless us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. So, what is your popular, nice Christmas song that you like? Oh, come all ye faithful joyful and triumphant so why don't you join together as we celebrate jesus as we sing oh come all ye faithful let's start with the chorus as it says oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him christ the lord let's sing again oh come oh come let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ alone. Oh, come, oh, ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come. boys and girls how are you today you know what day it is and what season this is the last day of our sunday school in this year 2020 we thank god for the way that he has brought us this far to reach to this point when we are closing sunday school and our season our season is called advent do you know what advent means it is the season when we invite the Lord Jesus Christ to come into our lives. It is the season that we have been waiting for all year when the Lord Jesus is born into our hearts. And we are going to read, do a Bible lesson today, taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 to 20. So for those of you children who have your Bible, Get your Bible and let's read together and follow with, with me as I read the scriptures. So I'm reading Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 20. The birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. 
So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Shepherds and the angels, verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. What a wonderful story. Don't you like it, children? I love this story. I love the Christmas story because Christmas happens in the month that I was born. I too was born in December, just five days before Christmas. And so I love this season. And why do we celebrate Christmas, children? We are told that in the old days, that when God separated from man because of sin of Adam, he said he's going to send a savior. And this was the time for the savior to be born. So it just happened that at this time, God himself chose a young lady called Mary. Mary was already pledged or she was already promised to marry Joseph. And so Mary and Joseph were looking forward to a life together. And the Holy Spirit came on Mary and told Mary the good news that out of all the women, she was the one who was chosen and she would be the mother of the Savior. Can you imagine the joy Mary had? I can imagine she must have been so happy so now, Mary went and she told Joseph. And the angel also told Joseph that, you know what, Joseph? The baby that Mary is carrying is going to be the savior. And Joseph was a good man. So Joseph decided, well, Mary is my wife. She's promised to me. So when it came to time for going for census, Mary's new family was with Joseph, and Joseph was from the tribe of David. You remember the promise of David that out of him a savior would come? Now Joseph 
was the father of this baby and so Jesus was going to be from the line of David just as it had been told so they went to Bethlehem which was the place of the house of David and when they were there because so many people had also come there was not a single room to be found they could not find in any hotel or any inn but you know what there was a good innkeeper and told them i know a place where you can go for the night and he showed them this manger do you know what a manger is yes i know you know the manger is the place you put food for animals it's a trough it is deep and there you put food you put water and the cows and the sheep and the goats eat from that place but because there was no other place they could go to when they got there i'm sure they made a comfortable place with all the hay that was there and when mary gave birth they put the baby in that manger and so our lord and savior was born that night there were shepherds who were in the fields and they were watching their flock and they saw the star a bright shining star and this star seemed to tell them come with me and so they followed the star and the star came and stood where they were Mary and Joseph and the angels told them that they could find the savior there and so they went in and i'm sure they must have given a lamb as a gift to mary and joseph for the baby jesus and that was um a wonderful gift that they gave that night and you know what there are so many songs that have been sung such as the song silent night away in a manger or little town of bethlehem do you know all those songs they all come from this christmas story and another group of people that came were the kings yeah and we find that the lord jesus was held in awe by those whom the lord had directed to come there and worship him and because of this day we as christians celebrate and we know that we have a savior that we can go to and be saved and god will reconcile them uh, reconcile us with himself do you like the story i love this story because it is the beginning of my faith as a christian and i hope you love jesus because of what he did for us when he came into this world he came so that he can save you from death and from sin and when we believe in the lord jesus christ and invite him in our heart he comes in and he gives us a new life and we become born again thank you for listening to my story i'm sure your mommy and daddy can explain it more to you and should you need help or to understand what it means to be born again reach to reverend george who is our sunday school teacher and in charge of sunday school thank you and god bless you before we finish we have a memory verse and i want to say the memory verse for you it comes from the book of first john and chapter 4 and verse 10 so let's go to first john chapter 4 and verse 10 and in simple form i will not read the full version i'll read the short form it says he loved us and sent his son can we say that together first john chapter 4 and verse 10 He loved us and sent his son. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 10. Mary's born child Jesus Christ born on Christmas day and this is a song that we are going to sing.
Long time ago in Bethlehem. One, two, three, go. Long time ago in Bethlehem was the Holy Bible say. Mary's born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Go in Bethlehem, as the Holy Bible says. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now, hark now, hear the angels sing, the King was born today. And man will live forevermore, because Oh, Christmas Day, hark now hear, hark now hear, the angels sing, the King was born today, and man will live forevermore, because of Christmas Day. Yeah. Wow, what an assurance that we will all live forever because, because of, of Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Thank you, boys and girls. We've come to the end of our lesson. And now I want us to pray and ask Jesus to bless you. So let us pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before you to thank you and to worship you for bringing your son, Jesus Christ, on Christmas Day so that he may come and save the world from sin and death. We thank you and we love you. We pray that we shall have a wonderful time of Christmas, even if we may be in our own homes and may not travel. But Father, you are there in our hearts and you're going to bring good joy and cheer to us. Be with us, Lord, until we meet again um, when we come back to Sunday school. Bless all the children, bless all the teachers, bless all the mummies and daddies. We pray this, believing and trusting in your name. Amen. Bye for now. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wow, and now we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy 2021. Good. Amen. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas from the bottom of my heart. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, con speño año de felicidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, con speño año de felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas 
from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.